Wednesday. It's good to be back on a Wednesday. Um, I think we're back at the right time and everything's going okay. Um, so how is everybody? So it's been a miserable week weather-wise. Hope it's been better where you are. It's been miserable here. Um, yeah, so I've done a bit of crafting. Um, I'm running a, a, a children's summer crafting day tomorrow, so I've been preparing everything for that. So I've got lots and lots of things all prepared for that. And yeah, I've been preparing for today's page, as well as making a few birthday cards and things like that that needed making, and a few other bits and bobs, which I think I've put on the, on the Facebook page. So, I've got quite a busy page today, and I have done lots of the prep work ready because I started off with a simple idea and it, it, it was a bit like Mopsy, it just grew and grew. So I'm hoping it's all going to come together properly. But as I say, I have done quite a bit, but I will show you the dies I've used and I'll show you how I've done it and what I've done with them. So I'm going to bring you down very carefully. Move you back as far as I can. Always just scared this is going to tip. Okay, so you should be able to see a reasonable amount of my, of my board and I'll turn it around a little bit more and turn you around a little bit more. So the page we're going to make today has got a number of elements to it. Um, it started off with just one element and as I say from that and that it grew. So the initial element I was going to make was just a simple little flap with a simple little pocket in. But Initially, I didn't want to use magnets, and you'll see why I, I chuckle when I say that in a minute. So initially, I didn't want to use magnets, so I thought I would make one of those locks. So that was, that was the first thing I made. Now, to actually make this, I have used a tonic die. Um, I'm terrible. I don't keep the packaging. I'm getting better at keeping the packaging but I don't, didn't used to keep the packaging, so I actually don't know which die this is, but it's from the memory book um, sets of dies, um, and it makes either a small memory book, I've used it to make a small memory book before now, or you can use it as I've used it here, as a just a page in a memory book, um, and that's how I've used it today. So I have cut out the whole piece. So if you look, I'll turn it around the other way, you can see how I've cut out the whole piece and then I folded it on the first of the fold lines so it will cut three fold lines and I've cut it on the first of my fold lines. I've then used the inside die and I've cut a piece there and a piece there and a piece there and when everything is dry I will cut another piece there but I haven't done that yet because I'm not going to make the mistake of putting the glue on too soon. So eventually I will cut another piece that will fit there. What I then did, I'll just pop these back here, was I took this large piece and I cut, whether you can see, I cut the small piece out of the long large piece. So I've now got a smaller piece here and then I cut the larger piece out. So it's all one piece but it's just had this bit cut out. And then I cut a piece of black card with this as well, and I stuck it, stuck that onto that, and I just took it down a little bit so that we have a little bit of a black border, because they are obviously the same size because they've been cut from the same die. But I just slid it down a little bit to get a black border, and then I've just glued it and made myself a pocket. And it is only a little pocket. So this page has turned out to be all about little secret hidey holes. I then used my um, Cool Cats dies, I've got the strip dies, to cut two strips to fit there 
and two more to fit there. So that's how I've made the actual pocket. Now, what I decided to do then, let me move these out of the way, was to create a slider lock. And you have seen me do this before. So I've already cut in the two, I'll bring these dies over, you can see them. So not that one, that's not part of the slider locks. You can see the slider locks and there are three dies you can use for creating slots. But this space was quite small, so I didn't use the largest one. I used the other two. And what I did, before I stuck this pocket on, if I turn it over, you can see I cut a slot. So I did that before, in fact, no, I didn't do it. I just fed it under there because I hadn't thought about what I was gonna do. So I just fed it under there and cut it. So the slot goes, right under there and under there. And then lining it up, and there is already um, a live Facebook Live on this, I then put the other one on so that it came over the edge, but lined up exactly with the one underneath. And then I cut a slot in that that gave me a slot with no end. I hope that makes sense. So what I then did was I used the little six um, holes to cut out six little black pieces, which I shall go through and explain. And then because it's only a small area, I couldn't use any of the larger ones. So what I did was I picked one of the ones that is actually a center and I've turned it into the main part. So I've cut four of those plus a decorative one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together because I want to leave it to dry. So, I'm just going to put it oops, onto here. So, no, I'm going to leave it under there so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to stick two of the larger discs together. So the reason for this is just to give it a little bit more um, strength. So you could do three, I'm just going to do two. And I'm going to lay that centrally underneath that first, the the biggest slider. So I'm just going to lay that underneath, centre it up. It's got a little line on it which is helpful because it helps me to see the centre. I've then got these six tiny little ones and what I'm going to do is create a tower. So I'm going to stick a little bit of glue on there and put that one on top. A little bit of glue on there and put that one on top. I can see I've got some people. Good morning Dawn. Nice to see you on with us. I can only see one comment but it may be that the others have disappeared down. So remember if you're watching please just type in a, a hello and tell us where you're from. So I'm going to put another one on top of that. And then another one on top of that. I know one of the people who was watching, who is watching us now, um, gave some serious thought to buying these, these little locking mechanisms. So I've now got my six, which is going to make like a little washer. And I'm going to put some glue on the bottom and making sure that this is as centered as I can make it. I'm now going to stick that on and I'm going to press it down. So press it down and just hold it. 
I've made these before and I've been too impatient. So I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'm going to get the other two of the larger black ones and I'm going to stick those together. One on top of the other. And then because this is going to be the decorative one, the one that you see, I'm going to put a piece of decorative paper on the top. So that it all sits together. Then keeping this in place under here, make sure it's centered, just a tiny bit of glue. What you don't want is the glue splodging out. And then I'm going to put that on the top. And I'm just going to hold it in place. So I'm not, I'm not going to slide the circle for a minute, but you can see I can slide that across. And if I put this down, hopefully, this is what was worrying me, that it would just be a tad, I might just have to move it just a tad. Just have to move it over. We'll see how that goes. I don't want to have to move it unless I really have to. It might just be a case if we just need to curve it slightly and then it works a treat. Okay, this was why I went for the smallest one I could. So you just have to give it a little tiny bend when you undo it. So I've now got my little page with its little secret pocket and my little slider. And I'm just going to leave that now to let everything dry. So now I'm going to come on to my main page. Now in, when I first did this, my plan was just to have my main page with a piece of paper over the top and have that as my centre, like that. And that was all I was going to do. But then I realised I couldn't stick this down because then that might not work as effectively as I wanted it to. So then I had to rethink my page. And this is where I got to the point where I've now got lots of things on this page. So you'll notice that there's two little bits of white tape. Underneath those are magnets. So I've used my little tiny magnets and I've used my mag pops um, to cover them. And then I've put um, tape on top. This is so this is my seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter and this is my seven by seven and what I've done is I've used my cool cats dies and I've cut out one of my very favorite dies which is the archway die and I've cut out the arch and then I've cut out the arch again and taken out the two doors because I wanted the doors to fit exactly because this is white on the back. So I use the same die and then I just cut along those two folds and that gave me these two here. Then I put some magnets on there, which when I come to put this on here and I've lined it all up before I came on air, we'll just clip nicely into place. So my next job is to stick this onto my page. So I'm going to go all the way around the outside. Plenty of glue all the way around here. And then what I'm going to do because I've put extra card on there, it's going to put extra pressure on those fold lines. So I'm actually going to put a little bit of tape up against each hinge, just to strengthen it that little bit more. Okay, and the tape I'm using is from Cool Cats. 
is a very, very strong hold tape. So let me take off my bits of paper. Like this. So I'm taking off the liner of the tape and I'm going to take the liner off the tape on my page. And then I'm very carefully going to line this up. <laughs> the magnets have pulled it into the right place, which is brilliant. So the magnets have pulled it down into the right place. I'm going to use my Teflon tool just to give it a bit of welly down those sides so that that tape, I always find if you warm glue up, it works even better. So I'm just going to pop that on there like that. Now, I obviously don't want it to look like this. So I've cut out and the die comes with this insert and that will go on top of there. So I'm going to put some glue onto that. So that's going to be the insert and that's going to cover the magnet. So I'm just going to give that a, because you've got the magnets underneath, you do just want to give it a little bit more because it, it is slightly domed. I think the next magnets I'll buy, I'll try and get even thinner ones than these. Right, so let me just push that down push down in between the magnets. You don't want this lifting because it's not absolutely flat. And then I've cut, and again, there is a die for this. I've cut out the two internal flaps. I've cut them out on card and then cut them out on paper. Um, but of course, because you're using the same die, there's no black border, which was why I needed to do the, um, the doors like I've done them. So again I'm going to take off covering of the tape over the magnets. I'm going to put some glue on here and that goes on that side and now I've got a nice neat black border rather than the white of the actual paper. And again, I'm going to give that a really good burnish because I don't want it coming off all around the magnet. I might give it another burnish in a minute, but that one's going on there. And then we'll do the same with this one. And that one is now going to go on to there. Like this. And that's going to go. And again, really good burnish. Because what you don't want is for it not to stick. So that's all going to stick quite nicely like that. So we've got a nice little secret place a photo. Then I thought to make it even more secret I'd put a little flap over the top. So I cut myself a flap. You've seen me do these lots of times. I've got my half inch score line which I've folded which is going to create the actual flap and then what I've done is I've cut out two pieces of um, the paper that I've been using throughout this page and I've cut the photo slots in. You can see my photo slots and I've cut out the templates. I know I said last week you know, it's difficult to know whether to do the templates or not but I am I have done them on here. So these are Cool Cats dies and 
I'm now going to stick th this one's going on the inside and it's going with the the pattern going down the side here so I'm going to stick this on make sure you don't go and put glue on the black when you put the um, the actual card template inside it does make it easier to see where to glue and where not to glue so I'm just going to run some glue around there making sure that that's on the edge and I'm going to come up and pop that that's not quite straight I like wet glue you get wiggle room That's looking slightly better. So that goes on that side. And then I'm going to put this on this side. So, and again, it's got a photo slot in. So you can put photographs in there. And I've used the largest of the set that I've got. Um, I have a sneaky feeling that Cool cats have bought out a set of bigger photo slots. Um, I'm just going to put that, just to come down slightly, put that on there, like that, and then some glue on my flap. And that is going to go under there. that and that's going to fold over onto there so we'll just make sure that's stuck down very firmly and to grip so now we've got a flap <laughs> we've got a flap that opens up and underneath is our little secret archway Okay, so let's come back to this. Now, as I say, initially my idea had been to pop it on there, but I just wasn't convinced that once I stuck it down, I'd be able to move the lock. So what I've done is I've taken a strip, you can see, and it's the same width as the pocket, and it's one inch and it's scored at the half inch and I'm going to put some glue making sure I've got this the right way around yeah I'm going to put some glue on the outside edge and I'm going to stick that onto there now I'm having to do this as a late hinge um, because I've changed my mind halfway through okay so this just shows that you can always alter things and just make a hinge that just sticks on the back. And then I'm going to put some glue on the underside. Like this. And I'm going to centre that. And as I say, I would normally... Well, let's be good. Let's use my scoreboard. I think that's a about the middle and then that is going to go onto there so now I've got my little slider which is free to slide opens up I have a little pocket there close that up I have my little secret archway there and I have a little flap which I think I would put that way pulls the whole thing together. Now I could put some ribbon around it but I don't want to. Um, I could have incorporated a slot into there but that would have impacted on that page and I didn't really want that. So apart from putting a piece on the back here which I will do when I know this is absolutely dry and I will put it on and I will just glue round the edges very carefully so that it doesn't impact on it. That is another page complete. 
So let me bring you up. So who can I see? Who have we got here this morning? Dawn's with us. Good morning, Gwen. Good morning. I think we've had a conversation about Helensburg before. Is it in Scotland? I'm sure we have. Good morning and thank you for joining me. Um, you can see we've got a few people who've popped in and out. So I've got my drink this morning. So this morning we've used a collection of tonic dyes and core cats dyes um, to pull together. And I love the fact that you can mix and match the dyes and get a, a good effect. Um, it wasn't the page that was in my head when I started, but that's half the fun of crafting, that you, you start with one idea and you then progress it and move it and change it for another thing. Because as you do each part, you think, well, actually, if I did that, then that might happen. And if I did that, that might happen. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, if you've got any questions, because as I say, I did do quite a lot of it in advance. So if you've got any questions about anything I did in advance that you would like to see again. Um, I have had a request um, to do a page by page by page um, tutorial for a memory book. Um, so I'm planning on doing that on YouTube. Um, it will probably be when the schools have gone back and my, my life has got a little bit simpler than it is at the moment. Um, but I will start planning for that. Um, in the next week or so. I know somebody has asked, in fact, two people have asked me to do that. So that will go on YouTube. That won't be on, on um, the, the Facebook Live. That will be a separate YouTube thing. Um, so thank you if you've watched this morning. I hope it's been useful. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see, no, next week I'm having a week off. So I will see you in two weeks time. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay crafting. Bye-bye.